whole time with the mouthpiece in, baby. Drew conditioning. And whatever you do, don't leave without stretching. All right, spend at least 15 minutes stretching as much of your body parts as you can. Just keep in mind the rule of 30 seconds per hold. So, go ahead and stretch out as many muscles as possible, as possible, major muscles at least. And just remember, you know, that the more muscles the better because then you'll become that much more agile, that much more loose. All right, making you more limber, making you with more, the less stress you have, the less tension you have, the less pain you'll feel. All right, so the more endurance you'll have, the more stamina, the more fortitude, whatever you want to call it, that you will find. All right. Just remember, number one, breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth, nice and deep. And also use your mind to regulate that heart rate into more of a normal rate. So you don't start your next round all panicky and, you know, with your heart rate up. Because then that's when you can get slip up and get knocked out, you know, with a good shot. Everybody gets knocked out if they get hit with a good shot, all right? So that's another thing. You don't want to be caught with less uh, oxygen in you because the less oxygen you have, the more susceptible you are to getting knocked out, all right? So that's, hopefully you guys take that as a freaking tip, not just from the literal that I just got done saying. Hopefully you can apply that and correlate it to the fight game. Stretching. Don't forget to stretch and hydrate. One liter per one pound lost. One liter of water for one pound of sweat loss, or one pound period loss, all right, per workout. So I'm sure you guys lost if you kept up with the one tire thing. Um, even if you didn't have the same uh, materials or same equipment, I'm sure, like I said, you're unlimited to your creativity. So, you know, I'm sure you found a way to make up for it, something similar or something that activates the same muscles. So if you did keep up as much as possible with me, you guys lost at least three pounds, at least three pounds. You guys burned at least 1,500 calories. All right, and those three pounds are just water weight shit, you know, weight that you just sweat out, you know, pretty, pretty rap, you know, pretty rapid, all right? After a while, you won't have that much to, you know, to, uh, to lose when it comes to water weight. Uh, most people carry about six to eight pounds or so, at least, of water weight. All right, so anyhow, this is Kale Method for Seabreeze Fitness. We just got done with uh, fast training, fight aerobics, and strategic training. Alright, so have a good one. Remember, you're only limited to your creativity and pain is temporary and pride is eternal. Remember, you can uh, substitute pride with anything else, uh, fulfillment, um, whatever, you know, whatever goal, whatever you also want to make it as if you don't want to sound so prideful or whatever the case may be. Pain is temporary, pride is eternal. It lasts forever.